Road to GH will unveil compelling developments on Thursday, November 21, 2024. First, amidst the somber atmosphere of Sam's funeral, Christina walked slowly, burdened with overwhelming emotions. The weight of loss suffocated her every breath, yet Jocelyn's presence served as an emotional anchor. Since the tragedy, Jocelyn had stood by her side, quietly but unwaveringly, offering a source of support Christina hadn't realized she needed. Jocelyn didn't speak much, but her actions and care spoke volumes. She was always there, her gaze meeting Christina's in moments of searching among the crowd. Jocelyn's patience and gentleness reminded Christina that she wasn't alone in her grief. Jocelyn brought up cherished memories of Sam, helping Christina see that even in loss, there were moments worth treasuring. Though the pain persisted, Jocelyn's steadfast presence brought a touch of warmth to Christina's cold, grief-stricken days. Without grand gestures or eloquent words, Jocelyn eased Christina's sorrow and guided her toward accepting the truth, finding solace in the beautiful memories of Sam. Second, Dante sat quietly in his office, his troubled gaze fixed on Sam's autopsy report. The initial conclusion of an accident failed to convince him. Certain details in the forensic report nodded his mind, ambiguous markings on Sam's body, inconsistencies in the time of death, and contradictions in witness statements. Dante knew that reopening the case would not only disrupt the grieving process of Sam's family and friends, but could also unravel new complications. If someone had orchestrated Sam's death, uncovering the truth might be a double-edged sword, delivering justice while risking retaliation or escape by the perpetrator. Dante pondered whether he had enough evidence to revisit the case without causing further harm. He debated focusing on the forensic details or exploring the relationships and events surrounding Sam's death. A heavier question loomed, would his investigation expose the culprit, or would it plunge everyone involved into a dangerous spiral? Third, Trina was taken aback by Kai's transformation. As longtime friends, they'd had disagreements before, but nothing as tense as this. Her angry accusations seemed to have gone unheard, but Kai proved her wrong. Instead of arguing or defending himself, Kai reflected on Trina's words. When they met again, he calmly explained his perspective, clarifying misunderstandings without making excuses. This approach made Trina feel a pang of guilt, she realized she'd been quick to judge, without understanding the full picture. Kai's willingness to listen and address the issue head-on prompted Trina to reconsider how they communicated. Conflicts were inevitable in friendships, but Kai's proactive efforts underscored the value of their bond. Despite lingering awkwardness over her earlier harsh words, Trina was relieved that their misunderstandings had been resolved. She acknowledged that, even with occasional differences, Kai remained a trustworthy friend who valued and protected their relationship. Next, Michael sat silently, gazing into the distance as he opened up to Sasha. Recent upheavals had left him drained, especially the growing rift between him and Molly. In his reflections, Michael neither avoided nor shifted blame. Instead, he admitted that he had contributed to the strain. He spoke of their disagreements, the endless arguments, and the long silences that gradually cooled their connection. Michael confessed his shortcomings, his lack of patience and sensitivity to Molly's needs, and recognized how their disconnection had widened into an unbridgeable gap. Now, as he looked back, Michael saw their marriage teetering on the brink of collapse. Shared dreams and goals had faded, replaced by a growing sense of alienation and unspoken pressure. He realized that letting go might be the only way for both of them to rediscover themselves. Finally, Jason's heart was a mix of profound sorrow and fierce determination. Sam's loss left a deep scar, but it also sharpened his focus on Danny, who now embodied his purpose in life. Jason refused to let grief paralyze him, he knew Danny needed him not only as a father, but as a guide. Every decision Jason made now revolved around Danny's well-being, ensuring his needs were met and raising him to be a kind, strong individual who cherished the values Sam had held dear. Jason vowed not to let the pain of losing Sam overshadow his love for Danny. Instead, he would channel that love into strength to overcome every challenge. He knew the road ahead would be arduous, but the thought of Sam finding peace and seeing Danny well cared for fueled his determination, 